Hi guys, it's Steve at Golf Tech Systems. We are in the Admin and Demo Center. A uh, quick informative video today. So we get asked this a lot in terms of when DIY customers, um, and to be fair, install customers as well, are asking the difference between wall panels, um, the difference between like the foam tiles, our upholster panels, what is the difference? Because there is a big cost difference, but it's important to understand the differences between them. And it comes down to durability. That's what we're looking at at the end of the day. And obviously aesthetics. Um, you might prefer one over the other. So we have got a foam tile and on the reverse of that foam tile is our upholstered um, faux leather panel. So we've done them back to back, so there's applied back in, so it's replicating almost a wall in that sense. We have got the old faithful, the Mizuno TP211 iron. So we're gonna blast a couple of shots into that. Uh, we hit a couple of shots earlier just to test, but we're gonna show you the difference between what a ball, what it does to those tiles, those different panels on impact. So when you're buying these things, you really do know what you're getting and what's going to happen to them. So I'm going to hit a couple of one arms just into that panel. Okay, that's one. Okay, that's two. So we'll have a quick look at that. So foam tile, that is the damage it's going to do. So effectively you can see that one shot there that I've just hit. And you can see it will cr it will literally crack and split the foam. Now, when you push the foam back down, you can almost get rid of the cut line to an extent. But there's no there's no denying that that is a pure cut. If another ball comes in anywhere around this, it's going to take that chunk of foam out. So you're going to leave you know a big exposed hole on the foam. Now, when you're buying these things, you've got to weigh up the cost and longevity. If you're always hitting wedges, and dare I say the occasional shank, which is where this is basically set up, you're only really going to be hitting, you know, one or a couple of tiles. But you've got to understand that as soon as the ball hits it, this is what you're looking at as damage. So there you go. That is what you're going to see with a foam tile on impact and then how it kind of reforms and the damage it's going to cause. Foam, uh, sorry, foam upholster panel on the other side. So we'll hit a shot into that so we can show you what that does. Bit low, let me just try and hit another one, just see if we can get them a bit higher. There we go, right in the middle, we'll take that one, that's good. So, there you can see the impact for that one, and we hit a couple earlier just to see what it was doing. But you can see, this one, this doesn't split. This faux leather material has got a rub count of 350,000. So these types of materials are done in the upholstery uh, industry and they check them by what they classify as a rub count. And as I say, the materials that we use, this has got a very high rub count, 350,000, and that's why we use it. That's why they're a bit more money. This is why you'll see different pricing for these sorts of panels online, but we always push to make sure that we've got a tough material that's going to last. You'll see a slight lighter ball indent there, um, as in not an indent, but a, a scuff. Um, but that will effectively, microfiber cloth, bit of water, you will get that to kind of disappear a little bit. But the point is, it's not going to split. Yes, you're going to spend a lot more money on this, but that's what you're ending up with, as opposed to this, which you can see is going to split on your first impact. Hopefully that helps people understand the differences between the two panels and why they cost so much difference. Um, and if you need any more information, visit us at www.golftechsystems.com.